people would get legitimately elected mm -hmm. and then they would try to do away with elections and do away with opposition and do away with a free press. And you could see it in countries where, well, Hitler was duly elected. That's right. Right. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, somebody with those tendencies, those dictatorial authoritarian tendencies would be like, oh, OK, we're going to shut this down. We're going to throw these people in jail. And, and they didn't usually telegraph that. Trump is telling us yes. what he intends to right. do. The complexities of historical comparisons, particularly those involving figures like Hitler, emphasizing the sensitivity and potential provocativeness of such parallels. The focus is on critiquing Clinton's choice of metaphors and examining public perception, aiming for a nuanced exploration. The evaluation of Trump's presidency is approached by scrutinizing tangible policies and actions, steering away from exclusive reliance on Clinton's portrayal of his intentions and communication styles. Trump's purported authoritarian tendencies, policies, and leadership styles are assessed within the broader context of American governance, avoiding direct parallels with historical figures. Delves into media's role, expressing skepticism about potential bias and depicting Trump's interactions with the media and assertions of authoritarian control, emphasizing the importance of preserving free speech. The discourse narrows its focus on safeguarding the electoral process without unilaterally attributing authoritarian motives to Trump. The crux lies in dissecting Trump's policies and policy divergences, steering clear of facile comparisons with the political landscape and historical events. What do you think?